So we're going to call this a, a very impromptu uh, interview because usually I use uh, different cameras and I use different microphones and so forth. But I really appreciate you stopping and, and talking yeah. to me real quick about your truck. What year is it? It's a 1961. Wow, 1961. And what, what year did you buy? 1960, September 1960. What have you been doing with the truck since? Putting miles on it. Yeah? <laughs> Just... Uh, I, I hauled uh, furniture for a long time in the 60s, and then I, I hauled cattle for a little while, and uh, I went off to doing trade shows, exhibits, and displays. On my own, I hauled Snap-on for 41 years, Snap-on tool. And I had to buy a step deck to haul their equipment. So when I started hauling that, I just stayed at it. And uh, after I retired, I retired for about a year and a half. I couldn't stand it. I had to get back in that damn truck and go again. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Sounds about right. So this is the only truck you've been running since uh no, since I've 60s? got nine of those. Okay, you got nine? I don't run anymore. My wife and my boys, they'll take them to the show once in a while, but I, I not me. So how many miles you got on this one here? Six and a half million. Wow. What now, over over the course of six and a half million miles, what are some of the things that you've had to do to this truck to keep it in service? Well, I had to uh, I had to update it. I've got the latest electronic engine in it. I got a actually it's an 07 engine. It's uh, four, uh, N14 Cummins. I put the new 18-speed transmission in it and light style rears and suspension and uh, all the uh, hub pilot wheels, uh, the light style wheels. And, I've changed it around quite a bit. Front wheel brakes I put on it. Used to not have front wheel brakes. And, you know, all, uh, of course, the larger brakes. And, uh, t today's time, you have to stop a little quicker. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I hear you. Now, let me ask you this. I don't want to pry into your private life there, but you did mention that you've been you've been on the road for a certain amount of years. So if you wouldn't mind sharing how many uh, years you've been on the road and uh, in your age, just so people can really appreciate what you're doing out here, I think that'd be awesome. Been, I've been on the road since I was 17. I drove for my dad for a while out of Alabama. And I, I went to California and I, I worked for Knott's Berry Farm out there driving a truck over the hill hauling jams and jellies. And, and I did a little hitch in the Marine Corps back in, in from 57 to 59. I got out of the Marine Corps. I, I came home and I worked for a while for a friend of mine driving his truck and I then I bought this truck in 1960 in September a year after I come home from the Marine Corps and uh, I've been in it ever since I bought I bought eight others you know that I, I still have them they're uh, getting to be collector's items I guess but uh, yeah I, I just uh, I'll be 74 in November and I think I'll do it another 74 well, I hear you, man. I, I, I have more power to you, and I appreciate you. And you, you don't look that age. You, 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 uh, you in and out of that truck pretty quick when I came up, up and talked to you. So I appreciate you. I work you. every day. I load, I pull them chains, pull them straps, put the tarps, do all of the, all of what it takes to get it get a good job done. That's awesome. There's there's a couple of guys on the road that are that maybe got a year or two in that need to come and ride with you for a while, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can teach them a few. Yeah, you can teach them a little bit of something there. Uh, last question: you, You're run a, running a step deck there, a three axle step deck. What are you normally carrying? And you did share where you where you're headed to and what you're going to be carrying. I do a lot of uh, equipment like uh, you know track hose, uh, dozers. Uh, I do a lot of uh, nitrogen tank for Air Lake uh, big heavy uh, tanks that weigh sixty thousand pounds. Uh, I just uh, I do a lot of oversized stuff. I just brought a big CNC machine here out of uh, Long Beach, California for a, for a company and it weighed 61,000 pounds. Big, nice load. Awesome. Thank yes, you. Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. That's cool. Well, I really appreciate you, uh, uh, you know, speaking with me here. And, and again, just for the record, please uh, you know, say your name because I, I think we didn't start with me asking your name. Okay. Well, I'm Bob Spooner and I live down in Batesville, Arkansas. My shop and everything is right next door to Mark Martin and his new uh, uh, 
Ford dealership and museum there for the NASCAR people. So I'm, I'm right next door to you. Cool. Well, Mr. Spoon, I really appreciate you taking a minute to talk to me here, and uh, I'm sure a lot of people are going to appreciate you and appreciate your ride. Well, I hope so. All right. Thank you. Thanks.